the idea that in your state, under Governor Walker, we are seeing massive efforts to make it harder for people to vote is absolutely wrong and unacceptable. It is un-American, that's right. What American democracy is about is saying to people, let's have a debate on the issues. I want as many people as possible to participate and the best ideas win, not working overtime to make it harder for poor people or old people or students to participate in the political process. That is wrong. That is wrong, and that is, in fact, un-American, going in exactly the wrong direction of what our country is supposed to be about. So I say to Scott Walker, and I say to other governors throughout this country, if you are afraid of free and fair and open elections, get out of politics, get another job. And while I am on the subject of your governor, <laughs> I think it would be a, a fair perspective to say that uh, I will be very much the opposite as President of the United States of what Governor Walker is as governor. Governor Walker has led the effort in this country to attack the trade union movement. I believe we have to expand the trade union movement. I believe that a strong and growing trade union movement not only effectively protects its own members, but driving up wages will drive up wages for all Americans. <laughs> Governor Walker has provided huge tax breaks for corporations while making the largest cuts to education in Wisconsin history. I think he has got it backwards. I think we've got to increase funding for education. And demand that profitable corporations start paying their fair share of taxes. <laughs> Governor Walker, I'm a member of the committee um, that helped write the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and the Affordable Care Act has done a lot of very good things. It was, honestly, I do not recall having gone to many, many, many meetings as we wrote that bill that anyone thought that a governor would reject the expansion of Medicaid. And that has happened with Republican governors all over this country. So, Governor Walker and I have a slightly different view on health care. I believe that health care is a right of all people. And it is really hard for me to imagine how for ideological reasons he could prevent 120,000 people in this state from getting health insurance through Medicaid that they desperately need. I can't understand that.